Hey, hey, peeps, it's me, Kay. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are already a subscriber. So I have two tall skinny journals for you today. Um, I will have um, all the Etsy shops linked down in the description box below. The main kit is from Shabby Cottage Studios, I believe. Um, but again, I will link everybody down in the description box. And um, yeah, so there's two. They will be um, listed together, sorry, <laughs> listed together in my Etsy shop. They are very, very similar. Um, the covers are different because I could not decide whether I wanted to use wallpaper or fabric. And um, so I just did one of each. So I did this pretty fabric, this pretty wallpaper with these pretty blue flowers. It has like a sheen to it. It's so pretty. And I've been wanting to use this, I mean, this uh, wallpaper for a while now. So hopefully you can, you can see how pretty it is. And so yeah, this, the digital kit that she had just spoke to me. I wasn't planning on doing another tall skinny but when I saw this kit, I was like, oh, I've never done like a, um, I don't think I have done like a journal with the majority of one color. I don't think. Well, I've done like a purple, but that's obvious because it's my favorite color. But I've never done like a blue, I don't think. Um, so I have this pretty blue fabric here. And blue is just such a... Um, unique color that I don't think a lot of people use so I, I try to I want to mix it up you know do some different colors um, and I just had this pretty blue fabric and um, I wanted to use it so um, so pretty right this pretty um, fabric and so yeah I will flip through this one and do all my chatty and then we will play some music and I'll go through this one. So they also both have um, envelopes that I made. This is Daphne Diary, um, <laughs> as you could see, Daphne Diary. It was a big sheet and so I had enough for two pages in here, I mean a page in here, a page in here and to make two envelopes with ephemera. So that will be coming along with these journals. Um, I think I already said they'll be listed together. Um, this one has a charm that says dream. Let's hope I don't get them confused. I'm a, I'm a triple and quadruple check um, the charms. So this one says dream. This one has this uh, pretty um, lady here. This is a different shop and I will link it down below as well. Um, but they both have the same tag. It's just I chose to put this one um, in front of this one. And then this one has this lovely lady here. Because they both had like blue in their dresses. So they were just like perfect. And then this charm says imagine with the little um, crystal charm from BB Crafts. All right. I think I said everything. <laughs> All right. So let's get inside. Of course, they're one signature. They are super chunky, but that's because they are really stuffed with ephemera. And the um, scrapbook paper that I used is by 49 in Market, which is super thick paper. And it's crazy because I think I only used three pages in each one. I think I used three in this one and three in this one. I use other scrapbook paper that's nowhere near as thick as 49 and Market, but yeah, 49 and Market paper is just super thick. I mean, I love it, but it's super thick. I couldn't use all of them in, in one. So anyway, so let's see. Let's make sure I stay in frame. So this, um, this lace goes all the way under the signature, and it's a stretchy lace, so it will fit a lot of goodies. So as you can see, this is the same um, tag as in the front of the other one. And so there's just some sari ribbon here, pretty blue. And then I just tore um, and just collaged these pieces. I had a few sheets that when I was printing that didn't print correctly, but you know, 
ink and stuff is expensive so I wanted you I wanted to use it even though it didn't make it inside the journal I wanted to use what I could so I kind of collaged on a, on a few different of the tags and um, so yeah so you can write over the paper because the paper is so light in color that you can still write or you can write in between so I just thought that would that was really cute to do my bow will not stay nice I have <laughs> I had it nice and then I don't know what happened but anyway so yeah that's a nice large tag as well and you could swap out obviously you could swap out the two tags if you wanted to fabric ruffles as you can see I did pulled out some blue fabric and added some fabric ruffles on some of the pages and yeah so the, yeah this is 49 in market like I said it's super thick so unless I say otherwise most of the ephemera is from the shabby um, shabby cottage studio <laughs> goodness so I just stressed and inked with vintage photo not too dark I didn't make it too dark I just kind of did it real subtle and then added a brad here just kind of layered those two tags together and then this is the um, Daphne diary paper that I was telling you about and I fussy cut these flowers from a different collection and added some ephemera here I love this tag um, when I put it under here I didn't even realize that she kind of peeks out if I slide it over a little bit she kind of peeks out behind the flower and I thought that was kind of cute and so yeah so this is so isn't that pretty I love the color of this kit and then this is the background for the same um, digital some coffee dyed paper and I did a little bit of stamping I was trying to go with the whole teacup thing and you'll see why she has a couple of teacups in this um, in this kit so I wanted to bring out my stamps this is some ledger from the digital and this is from a different digital here's a little white satin ruffle I know it's kind of shredding a little bit and I have to trim it a little bit I think it's gonna keep shredding maybe I should add some uh, glue on there I don't know anyway so here's the, the cups that I was showing you and I used the Tim Holtz um, I don't know what these I can't something brew the digital I mean the digital the die cut is called something brew freshly brew I think that's what it's called freshly brew so yeah I used the leftover paper this blue paper um, and another blue paper and I just layered them on top and then it comes with a little tea bag um, dye and I just added a little florals. This is from 49 and Market and this is just some scraps. I made a little banner. This is the little flower peeking out here. I didn't want to cut it so I just tucked it in. You can cut it if it's annoying you but I didn't want to cut it. <laughs> so I just tucked it underneath there. So this little tag here, I did some messy stitching around there, added some packaging on the back. So all, all my journals are printed on 32 pound copy paper. And um, I usually back most of my tags with cardstock. Um, if I don't print them on cardstock, like this one is printed on cardstock. So I made this pocket from the packaging from the 49 and market um, paper is the packaging and you know I just made these little pockets and let's take the tags out so you can see I added a little sticker here it's a little claim check um, ticket I can never get the <laughs> why does this always happen when we are you know they go in so nicely and then we can't get them back in um this is um graphic 45 and this is from another etsy shop and i will link her down in the description box as well if i forget please remind me but i, I try to remember this is from timu and then this is a ticket from 49 and market and then this washi tape is also from the 49 and Market paper collection. 
and then I added a um, wax seal a Florida de -lis. I don't know if I put it the right side up you guys <laughs> I couldn't remember what side is, is, did I put it upside down? I don't even know. I probably should have Googled it, um, but I didn't. Some uh, garden book pages here. There's a vintage postcard in blue. And then this is from 1913. I like to keep them in the sleeves because, you know, I like to make sure it's preserved. And this is a vintage, um, I guess it's a receipt, some kind of receipt. I got this from Selena years ago. And she did a, um, a some type of junk journal paper kit. And I've been, I'm still using it. It was so big that I'm always pulling from it. It's another um, Polaroid from the kids. So she kind of peeked behind this fabric flip. And this fabric flip I actually saw on somebody's um, YouTube video and I do not remember who it was. I'm sure a lot of people have done it, but I saw this on somebody's and I was like, oh, I had this, I had the scraps on the side. And I was like, oh, look, I'm going to do that. So I just made this little, this little fabric flip with, um, my little pieces that I had left over. I thought it was cute. Added a little washi sticker on that music sheet. Garden book page. This is from a book called Token of Friendship. And it has, um, has little quotes and the recipes on it. So, you know, it's a book page. So it has a lot of little friendship type quotes in here so I used them I don't know where I got that book from but I love it and I'm almost done with it I almost used up the whole book already there's another Polaroid from that beautiful kit this is a vintage um, invoice and it has all the little pieces to it so I kept them in there so that'd be fun to play with And this is a vintage dictionary page. Added the washi sticker. This is the 49er Market. I just stitched it on there and made a little pocket. And I added one of the tags from the digital. It's a little teapot stamp. Um vintage memo the washi sticker there did i say i used my my distressing tool for some of the pages and ink them don't know if i said that sorry if i'm repeating myself this is my second time recording this see it's all bucks and this is a lovely lady i didn't want to put anything on top of her i wanted her to be shown but i also felt bad poking holes <laughs> in her face. I tried not to do it, you know, so I did it underneath her chin. It's the best I could do. I didn't want to like do it in her eyes or nothing. I thought this kit was so pretty and it's something I think a little bit different than I've done before. A little stamping here. So yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. I don't, have, I don't have a lot of blue things. Um, in my stash um, also this is like a, I think the name of the kit is a French name I can't I, I might even try to pronounce it correctly because you know I have my Brooklyn accent and it's not gonna sound good at all so. <laughs> but um, I have um, I don't think I only have one thing that has, is French oh I do have some I think they're French I do have some French vocabulary words. I'll stick that in the goodie bag. Um, but I had this French um, love poetry book, but I didn't realize that the poetry in there is a little racy. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm not going to put that in there. Here's a little wax seal. I cut, this was a big die cut doily. So I used one half in here and one half in the other one. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this, this poem's, 
um, part of it is in French and then the other part is in English. So I read the English version of obviously because I, I don't read French. And I was like, yeah, this is a little too racy. I don't want nobody to be offended. So yeah, I'm not gonna. I think I found the, the book in like a thrift store or something. And I was like, oh, I don't have anything French in my stash. And I didn't, I didn't even read through the poems when I was in the thrift store. So yeah, I won't be putting that in there. But yeah, I forgot, I just remembered that I think I have French vocabulary cards. So I'm gonna stick some in the goodie bag. So this is the 49 and Market. Um, like I said, it is super thick, but I did. I didn't want to cut it because you know this is so pretty. So I just folded. it. So it's a flip. This is a tuck. This is a digital by an old design shop, I believe. And I just added the Tim Holtz um, people and the little sticker, and then I just made the belly band. I didn't put anything in it. This is one of the envelopes. And I just cut the flap off and added a little lace there. And then this is one of the lovely tags here. And I did the same thing. I put some packaging on the back. And I cover her whole little pretty face. <clears throat> yeah, some of this tape, the digitals on the back came from someplace else. So um, didn't come from the kit. Another corduroy here. Here's another little wax seal. This is from the 49 and Market um, paper collection. I just added that here. Of course, the other one is different, and the other one in the other journal is different because I didn't have two of the same one, but um, it's still pretty. Here's a little. Um, Sticker here. What is this? What is this? Oh, it must be a piece of. What's this? Oh, okay. It's this. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, right? Yeah, okay. I was like, what is that sticking out there? Another pretty Polaroid. Little teacup um, and teapot tag there. And here's the back. A little envelope. I didn't put anything in the inside. Some ephemera. And then I just made this tag out of the leftover paper. This is from another um, digital kit. And I just added the little Tim Holtz uh, words down there. And then, of course, you can journal on the inside. Let's open that back up. Yeah, this was super fun using all this blue. I, don't, I really don't think I've ever done like an all blue or like an all green, you know, type of journal. But I really, really love this. I, I thought it came out really pretty. So anyway, they will be listed together. I'm going to put this on top so I don't mix it up. I will wrap her up when I'm done. Sorry about my squeaky chair. Yeah, I will have them listed together. Um, they will be listed wallpaper and fabric. So you can pick the one that you like. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you have not already. Please subscribe if you aren't already. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. And um, like I said, I will have everybody linked down below. If I forget anything, please remind me because I don't like to leave anybody out. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, have a great one. Bye. Thank you.